Do you have some extra coins and you want to know what hypercharges you need to be investing in right now? Then make sure you check out this video to find out what the top 10 best hypercharges are right now. Come up with a list that is a perfect mix of pros' opinions and my opinions. At number 10, we have BB's hypercharge. BB's hypercharge is actually pretty strong, but obviously not as strong as some of the other ones that are coming up on this list. It's easy for BB's hypercharge to clear out the map and just have a decent amount of area control in general. On a lot of Brawl Ball maps, she's super good because there are a lot of walls and the shots to get a chance to bounce and hit enemies more than once. It's also easy to recycle supers because now you threw two bubbles at once that each charge a quarter of your super at a time, so you can just keep recharging supers and keep multiplying your bubbles as long as you have decent aim and you just know how to play the game and know the map you're playing on. They recently also fixed the bug where BB super wouldn't line up exactly with where it said it would, so it's even easier to aim with BB now, which is reluctantly amazing. Be sure you stay tuned until the end because the top three hypercharges in the game probably belong to the best brawlers in the meta currently. Moving on to number 9, another great pick for Brawl Ball and Solo Showdown is Buzz. Some people might disagree with this pick for our number 9 spot, but Buzz's hypercharge does actually take a lot of skill, so if you don't think it belongs here, you might not have enough skill to play it. I sometimes don't even think I have enough skill to play his hypercharge properly, as it takes a lot of skill to properly line up your shots and flick them so you can get multiple supers off at once. Buzz's hypercharge is just great for getting from one point of the map to another, and constantly stunning the same people by just hitting the wall and re charging your super immediately. Do many tricks with it and also get your super instantly back so you can shoot the ball right into goal and you can also get out of sticky situations if needed by just using your hypercharge and supering to the walls to get out of there. If Buzz's hypercharge never got nerfed he would probably be the best brawler in the game right now because it would have made it so he recharged his super whenever he hit a brawler as well. Thank goodness that is not in the game he would just dominate the meta. You can use some tricks with it like getting farther away from an enemy and then using your super on them to get more stun duration if you didn't know the farther you super onto them the more stun duration it has it goes up to two seconds buzz is definitely an a tier brawler right now and he just dominates the meta especially in brawl ball up next at number seven we have colette's hypercharge in case you're wondering the clip up above is an edit i made a while ago of colette colette's hypercharge makes her do so much damage especially to non-brawlers such as turrets or the high safe in this case and combined with the pushback gadget you get an instant free four hits which can one shot any brawler in the game as long as you hit them once before with a normal attack. Colette's hypercharge really hasn't received any nerfs as long as it's been out, and she's consistently stayed top 20 in the meta for as long as her hypercharge has been out. This is because she's almost a free win in heist and was one of the easiest rank 25 pushes I've had. You can play her in other modes such as bounty too, but heist is definitely her strong suit and will get you free, free wins. Next, we have a brawler whose hypercharge can be used in a lot of different game modes and is super helpful, Sandy's hypercharge. The ability to silence brawlers and give your whole team a speed boost for 10 seconds is absolutely insane. Not only that, but it also makes you invisible and could heal your teammates or harm the other teammates, which is amazing for a hypercharge. Although his supercharge rate did get nerfed recently, Sandy's hypercharge is still super, super strong and we're not fo focusing on the charge right now. He is especially good in hot zone and brawl ball because you can get massive area control in hot zone and you can move up the field quickly in brawl ball with his hypercharge. Not only that, but making you invisible also makes you a much harder target Target to hit, which also provides a very good strength to your team. The only reason this hypercharge isn't higher is because it's not particularly good in every game mode that is available. At number six, we have Lou's hypercharge. Lou's hypercharge is arguably one of the best hypercharges for area control in the game currently. This is why if you're playing a hot zone map in ranked, Lou will usually get banned because Lou's hypercharge is just so good, and him being able to rapidly keep recharging it fast just makes Lou a great brawler to play. Stunning opponents while they're in your supers is amazing because it not only charges up their freeze meter, but also keeps them there so you can kill them off easily. As you're going to see in this game, I recharge my super so many times, and even though it is a bot practice match, it still shows how powerful his hypercharge is. There's not much else to say about this hypercharge, it's just super consistent and hasn't really received any nerfs. It's definitely one of the best picks in ranked. Our next brawler, while he might be an unskilled brawler, has an amazing hypercharge, Frank. Frank's hyper is at the number 5 spot because being able to stun in a 360 direction is broken. Because if you get 3 or more people in your su hypercharge super, you can just continuously super them and they stand no chance against your team. Frank's hypercharge makes him consistent in every single game mode and I don't think there is a game mode that I wouldn't use him in. 
He's great at opening up the map. He's great at stunning brawlers so you can get an easy goal. Just a super, super consistent brawler. As you're gonna see here, he's just amazing at opening up all walls around him. He just has a super high damage per second when he does this. At our number 4 spot, we have another very consistent hypercharge, Dynamite's hypercharge. This hypercharge has not really received too many major nerfs, which is very surprising because this hypercharge is broken. This was an instant buy when it came out because I had the 5,000 coins and I just saw how people were destroying with it, so I had to test it out for myself and buy it. It did not disappoint. One of the best things about this hypercharge is how the tiny little dynamites can still charge your super for half instead of his normal dynamite which only charges for a quarter which i think is absolutely insane and is very good for getting a good value out of your hypercharge because you can throw down multiple supers while you have it dynamite is probably the best artillery brawler in the game right now it also has a super high skill ceiling his gadget combined with his hypercharge is a deadly combination and can wipe out any brawler instantly sneaking into our number three spot we have leon leon is just an amazing all-round brawler combined with his hypercharge just makes him unstoppable especially in game modes like brawl ball where you can just carry the ball with your hypercharge and using the invisa heal star power and basically just walk the ball into goal same thing goes for when you're in a 50 50 with a brawler you have the upper hand because you're shooting and they can't even see where you are and you're healing while this is happening every time i see the enemy leon hypercharge super i basically just give up because of how broken it is you can also get the most out of your hypercharge by using it after you go invisible so you have more time to recharge another super and have way extra time on your hypercharge because the stats do go away but the hypercharge effect on the super does not go away so instead of about a 10 second hypercharge you can get max up to a 20 second hypercharge which is absolutely broken if you think about it and has dominated the meta ever since he's came out and really hasn't ever received many major nerfs but whenever his hypercharge came out he was just always top the tier list and never really declined that much it's because leon is also super easy to play but also has a super high skill ceiling so anyone can play him and he's also a super fun brawler to play whenever his hypercharge came out we kind of had a leon apocalypse where in every single ranked match and every single brawl ball match it just seems like there was a leon in every single match that you played so i'm not complaining his hypercharge is really good and i'm so glad i have it also if you combine it with his speed star power he also goes super super fast especially if you combine that with max's hyper which we'll be talking about later in this video at number two surprising nobody is gale's hypercharge gale is one of those brawlers like leon who's used in almost every single ranked match right now if he's not banned and he's just broken in every single game mode as well you'll find him in every single game mode and even solo showdown solo showdown has a very unique niche of brawlers that is used in it but even Gale is used in some maps like Skull Creek. And that is because his hypercharge is absolutely broken. You need to be investing in this hypercharge and buying it as fast as possible because it just is a free win every single round. And I don't know why I don't have him a higher rank than I do. I just felt like I didn't really plan that much. And yes, I do have the Merchant Gale skin. I'm so happy I got it. It's so good. Enough about that. Gale's hypercharge, just giving him the extra wide effect on his super and giving him two supers is also amazing. I don't know if they nerfed it because I know at one point it did do damage twice in a row, but uh, they might have nerfed it, so I don't know. Gale's super is great for area control, finishing off a brawler who ran away from you, but that's not really recommended, or just pushing enemies away from you so you can fall into defense. It really is a lifesaver and just is what makes Gale so good. Before his hypercharge came out, he was starting to get a lot of hype on social media just because people found out he was really secretly good and he was kind of like the underdog or the hidden gem in Brawl Stars. People started to use him a lot more and Supercell saw this, so they added one of the most broken hypercharges to the game right now. Many would consider Gale to be a top three brawler. At one point, he was the best brawler in the game. It takes a decent amount of skill, but once he's mastered, all ranked matches become easy and it seems like he's an easy push in trophies. Hypercharge does really carry him and he is just amazing in most game moves. At our number one, Hypercharge goes to a heavily underrated brawler, Max. Now, obviously Max is a super fast and shifty brawler as you can see from many clips like tensai and her hypercharge just adds to this chaos it makes max twice as fast than her normal super and basically acts to her super as infinite range and charges your teammates super if you don't think this is broken i don't know what is broken to you because this just sounds absolutely broken to me 
and is just really, really helpful for your teammate. Max Light Gale is also good in many, many different game modes. The best ones obviously being 5v5 and Brawl Ball, because any modes that require speed or you can provide support to as many teammates as possible are the best for Max. That doesn't mean Max isn't good in any other game modes, because in Knockout, Max is super good because you can dodge and then get a quick kill off a brawler if needed. As long as you have decent aim and you know what you're doing with Max and you're not constantly dying, her hypercharge should come twice or three times in a brawl ball match, which is vital to find Max because she's already good without her hypercharge and her hypercharge just makes her 10 times better. Okay guys, that was the list for today. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and make sure you comment down below what you think was a good hypercharge or a hypercharge that I didn't add. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions and make sure you join the Discord too if you want to catch up on everything Mystically19 or everything Brawl Stars. I'm an official Supercell creator now. Thank you all for that. That is so amazing. I'll catch you guys in the next one.